Hey guys, I'm JD Ross and this is a follow-up for my last video. But since then, I've been seeing a lot of complaints about the error with SLS team. I was just waiting for a quick fix from the developer before I upload a video. Because of course, I just want to make things easier for you. So we're gonna start Steam up. Just to see what happens if we try to run it. So as you see, we have a game here which just says purchase instead of play. And you're probably also seeing a notification just like this one. But fortunately, the developer of SLS Team uploaded the fix. So we're gonna use Excel to update SLS Team. Go to settings. As you see, there's an update available. So install the latest SLS Team. Yes. There we go. Do you remember the Steam Jupyter file? We're gonna have to edit that again. So open the console, type sudo steamOS read only disable. Now you only have to do this if you um, enabled your read only before this video. If I remember correctly in the last video I, I forgot to tell you to re-enable it. But just in case you did, we have to do this. So type your root password, press enter. So we can now edit the Steam Jupyter again. And this is the new change for this update. As you see, this last line is the original last line of Steam Jupyter. This long line is responsible for injecting SLS Steam. As you see, it's twice as long now because there's a new file here called libraryinject.so. So in case you lost this line and you didn't back it up, I'm going to include both lines in the description so you can just copy and paste it here. So after you paste it here, just save it, type your root password, we're gonna exit Steam, run it again. There we go. We now have a SLS Steam notification. Wait, let's see if it works. That's amazing. So that's it for this video. On the next video, I'm going to show you a new version of Axela which includes a lot of changes from the previous one. It even has a blocker for Steam updates, which is very cool. And we need that so we don't have a mismatch anymore. If you want to see that, make sure to like and subscribe and ring the notification bell icon so you know when I upload the video. Once again, I'm JD Ross. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.